Hey YouTube, my name is Ezra Anderson, and today I want to give you my review of Affinity Photo. In short, Affinity Photo is absolutely amazing. I've used it for well over a year now and have no regrets about ditching Photoshop. If you're looking for an affordable alternative to Photoshop that still gives you all the same power and tools, look no further than Affinity Photo. But if you want to see a little more of what this program is capable of, we'll spend the rest of this video looking at a few of my favorite features of Affinity Photo. The first thing I love about Affinity Photo is how similar it is to Photoshop. Serif, the company that makes Affinity Photo, knows that many people will be coming from a Photoshop workflow, and they have made the transition to working in Affinity extremely easy. Over on the left side, we have all of our tools, and then up at the top, we have the contextual toolbar, which gives us different options depending on which tool we have selected. Over on the right side, we have all of our panels, like the color panel and the layers panel. Underneath the layers panel, we have all of our adjustments, where we can apply things like an HSL adjustment, a black and white adjustment, or a curves adjustment. If we apply a black and white adjustment, you can see that it's very similar to Photoshop's black and white adjustment. We can also apply filters, like a Gaussian blur filter or a clarity filter. You can see that the filters are applied to our photo in real time. They can also be turned off and on whenever we want. And best of all, we can always go back inside our filter and modify its settings. Transitioning from Photoshop to Affinity Photo is extremely easy. The interface looks almost identical, the shortcut keys are almost all the same, and Affinity can even import and export PSDs. Affinity also has wonderful selection tools. Its selection brush is very similar to Photoshop's quick selection tool. You just paint a selection wherever you want, and then you can refine your selection to make it even better. Then you can apply any adjustment you want to your selection. Affinity also has a Flood Select tool, which is very similar to Photoshop's Magic Wand. Just click anywhere you want, and then it will make a selection of the color you clicked on. After removing the background, you can easily merge two photos together. One of my favorite tools in Affinity Photo is the in-painting brush. With this tool, you just paint over imperfections in your photo, and then Affinity will automatically remove them. I also love how Affinity handles layers. Every layer in Affinity Photo acts like a smart object in Photoshop. You can resize layers up and down as many times as you want, and they will never lose quality. Affinity is also extremely fast. You'll notice its speed as you see live previews of layer blend modes and see live previews of your paintbrush. After experiencing live brush previews, you'll wonder why every photo editing program doesn't already have this feature. Affinity can also edit your RAW photos. Very similar to Photoshop's Camera RAW, Affinity comes with its own RAW editor. Although this won't replace a Lightroom workflow, it's perfect for editing a few RAW images at a time. Affinity comes with advanced features as well, like macros. Macros are similar to Photoshop Actions and allow you to record your edits and then apply those same edits to other images with the click of a button. You can also do batch processing, where you make global changes to as many photos as you want. In this example, I applied a sepia filter to seven images in just a few seconds. However, as great as all these things are, my number one reason for picking Affinity Photo is its amazing price. For just $50, you own Affinity Photo forever. No subscription needed. And best of all, 
it comes with tons of free updates. Since I bought Affinity Photo a year ago, it's already had two major updates, and I got both of them for free. If you're looking for an affordable alternative to Photoshop, Affinity Photo offers all of the same power for a fraction of the cost. After watching this video, I hope you can see just how powerful Affinity Photo can be. But, as great as this program is, it can be a little tricky to learn at first. So be sure to hit that subscribe button up there because we come out with new tutorials every week to help you master this program. You can also watch our quick start guide right here to get started learning Affinity Photo right away. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for another Affinity Revolution tutorial.